alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Opening round here, scheduled for 12. What does the boxer have to be very aware of in terms of how he can get himself into trouble when he faces a bowler? Well, there's a couple areas that the boxer really has to be on his P's and Q's. One, don't get trapped on the ropes because then you're allowing the brawler to have exactly the place he wants. Also, when you're stepping away, and you're going to be going away from a strong guy, don't step away naked. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? What a bulldozing uppercut by marvelous Marvin Hagler. It's all right. He moves. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Halfway through this round here. showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Body shot. Well timed by Marvin Hagler. He took a step back, landed the counter. Punch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Hagler's got to deal with a cut around his eye. Now it looks like it's below his eye, so we'll see what kind of effect it has. Nice block by Marvin Hagler. Parries the punch, puts one in there. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. And that's the end of round one. Hagler's cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I wondered what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things, Havertine, Adrenaline, and Thrombin. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Nowhere close that punch by Marvin Hagler. Able to land with the right. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Good accurate work there after blocking that blow. Hagler's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Good exchange. He fires back. Dangerous left hand from Hagler. A little something of his own. Blocks the shot, brings back the uppercut. Hagler's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Solid uppercut. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Good looking counter punch. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Accurate with a straight left. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking one. Marvin Hagler's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Puts forth the hook, scores with it. Last 10 seconds. Hagler's back in his corner now, probably reflecting on what was a very solid round. Now, he didn't overwhelm his guy with a quantity of punches, but he was so effective with what he did put forth. Yeah, you're right. You know, a lot of times people think that the muscles that count the most in any sport and especially in this sport, such a difficult sport, is, you know, the biceps, the physical things that you see, you know, the chest, the back, you know. This guy's got the strong muscle up top. 
you know, over his shoulders, in between his shoulders, his brain. And that's why he's picking the spot so well. That muscle is serving him, serving him to win this fight right now. Pace yourself. Good block by Marvin Hagler. Marvin Hagler, of course, associated with Brockton, Massachusetts, best known as the home of the Brockton blockbuster, Rocky Marciano. But he was actually born in Newark, New Jersey, back in 1954. Takes a step back, then the counterpunch by Marvin Hagler. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make him miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Hagler's probably thinking to himself that he found an early answer. The counter punch doing damage here. And his opponent's thinking, what the heck am I doing? Am I shadow boxing? Because I'm not finding nothing. But I tell you, if I am shadow boxing, that's shadow. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. He's going around now, Teddy, like his legs are made out of wet noodles. Yeah, and my mother was boiling the water because she used to make sure that that water Boiled and boiled, was never al dente. These legs are not al dente. And round three comes to an end. Sit, I need another round just like that, all right? You do a fan Round number four underway, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Hagler's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Well-placed counter punch by Marvin Hagler. Showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Use the ring. Use the whole ring. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. In and out. In and out. In and out. Let's move. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Hagler's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy. Does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Good right hand. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Marvin Hagler's got to be feeling the sting of that big, powerful hook. His punches are right now lacking that snap. I mean, we're early in this fight, but you can see that he's worn down just from his work rate. Yeah, and you know what he's seeing? He's seeing a guy with a cement shin, an iron shin. And I'm wondering if he's not starting to get a little bit discouraged. And the round comes to an end. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Marvin Hagler's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, so for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady, the same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Basic but beautiful. Jab, left hand. Okay. 
To the head he goes with a left hand. Hagler's well off the mark that time. Good look at right hand after he got hit. Halfway through this round. Double up on those punches. Double up. Come on, double up on the punches. One, and that had some one, bite to it, that right one, hand by Marvin Hagler. Good flush shot upstairs. A crushing two-punch combo by Marvin Hagler. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Targeting that belt line with the right hand. Very effective with the block and then the score. Hagler's showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense, Teddy, and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head. And now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand, hopefully he's been taught this, that yeah, the head moves, but the body doesn't. The body is stationary right in front of you. Right now his opponent should not be going to that head. He should be going downstairs. He's committing to the work downstairs. He puts, oh, early on here in the round, and he's already down, and he doesn't look good at all. going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Hagler's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Well off the mark by Marvin Hadler. Right hand downstairs. Lands the counter. Teddy, he's just covering up. That's all he's doing, but it gives his opponents so much time to pick where he isn't. Yeah, you're right, Joe. I mean, First of all, some of them are going to get through and some of them are watching them. They're getting through. And you just touched on it. I mean, you cover up, you tell your opponent, hey, I'm camping out. I'm not throwing back. So instead of throwing one or two at you, he's throwing combinations of three, four, five. You got a problem. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. That's as good as it gets right there. A crushing uppercut by marvelous Marvin Hagler. That round comes to an end. A round that I do believe he won. He fought much better there compared to what we saw out of him earlier. Yeah, don't show me how somebody behaves when they're winning. You know, really, I want to see how someone behaves when they're losing. He's behaving the right way. He's getting himself back into this thing. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Combo, combo. Good left there. Flush right hand to the body. Get so accurate. Jab, uppercut combination. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. Hagler's defense nice. is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is, and specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good, you know. They're attached, they're up around his chin, his elbows in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate. Oh, what a hook upstairs. 
halfway through the seventh round. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Yeah, baby, good work, good work. He missed that uppercut. Body shot lands, it was the right. Here's one for you now, he says, right back with the left hand. Hagler's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Hagler's making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. And that's the end of round seven. Beautiful. Beautiful. I want another round exactly like this. This is Hagler's been the more effective fighter. He's doing damage, he's winning, he's scoring well. Your scorecard reflects that as we start round number eight. Yeah, he's doing it the old-fashioned way. He's outworking the other guy. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Not able to land the headshot. Shake it off, shake it off. It's all right, it's all right. Very clean offense from defense by Marvin Hagler. <laughs> Hagler is able to avoid that punch. Well, he really digs in when he decides to throw that uppercut. Good job. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Solid left hand to the head. Nice, crisp one-two combination by Marvin Hagler. Nice. Hagler's being so very effective, punching in combination. And that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than put them together. Good return fire that good time. Good job. Good job, champ. Went to the body there, but unable to connect. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind it. That's Good okay, clean okay. shot, go, returning fire. Well done by marvelous Marvin Hagler. Use the ring, use the whole ring. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Teddy, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Hagler's in bad shape. He's trying to get some energy back, and now he's tying up his opponent, just wasting some minutes. Yeah, it takes two to tangle, though. He's wasting minutes. Look at that! Well, I don't like the way Hatler looks this time. He is down again, and he's got to beat the count. Get up, get One, come on now. Two, three, four, Let's go. five, Let's go. Get up now. Get up off that mat. Come on, baby. Where's your pride? Get up. So now a little bit of an uphill battle for Marvin Hagler. He goes down, but does rise up and is able to beat the count. You know what's going to hurt him and what he's working against right now, believe it or not. I know it'll make him survive in the end, but his competitive nature right now is to get even. And right now he's got to fight against that. He just hasn't survived. He's got to forget about winning this round. Hagler's the target of a hook. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked.
Hagler's proving to be elusive. Here in these later rounds, you can start to see it. Wow! Throw the scorecards out. Hagler's down and looks to be out. Get up! Get up! Get up! Two! Get up! Get up. Three! The fight is over, a knockout victory, unable to beat the count. To make it official, let's send it up to the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your winner, the Dark Destroyer, So here we are, late in the fight, just coasting along, and then that happens. And that's exactly why it happened, because he was coasting along. Everybody was comfortable. Everybody thought nothing big's going to happen. We're going to wrap it up. And that's when something like this does happen. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you next time at the fights.